Today we've arrived at London's Heathrow Terminal 4 where we'll be flying Etihad's A380 EY18 from London Heathrow to Abu Dhabi. Etihad operates out of London Heathrow Terminal 4 where we'll be flying east across to Abu Dhabi on a number of high density routes like New York, London and soon to be Paris it's amazing to see the A380 back in operation. There was no queue at the business class check-in. Then we used the fast track security. We were swiftly in departures where we made our way to the Etihad lounge. The lounge is very well appointed and we made our way to the a la carte and buffet dining area. The a la carte menu is accessible using this QR code. Here you have the option of eating from the buffet and if you'd like to choose from the a la carte menu there's options such as a beef burger, chicken chetanad and a pumpkin sage ravioli. The beverage menu is pretty extensive, including juices, soft drinks, non-alcoholic spirits, mocktails. All of the staff here were very friendly and attentive. They were actively asking if we needed anything else and encouraged us to try different things from the buffet. We found a quiet area within the lounge where I had a gin and tonic and we were able to charge our phones. I tried to take some videos of the aircraft parked on the apron. Two hours of exploring the lounge went very quickly. We walked down the jet bridge and we boarded this Etihad A380 bound for Abu Dhabi. As we walked through the cabin to find our seats, the business class product still looked very modern and fresh. The seat was an inviting space. Accompanied by Casa Amani products, I found this really elevated the experience. I was given a glass of champagne as a welcome drink. This very unique product felt very spacious and I made myself comfortable for this seven hour flight to Abu Dhabi. I found the amenity kit, which was actually very useful. I used a number of these products through the duration of this flight. The surface area adjacent to the seat was surprisingly large and I was able to store various things on here throughout the flight. Stored within the seat was a mattress topper, pillow and thick duvet, all provided by Casa Romani. This element of the service, Etihad really exceeds expectation. The products are well thought of and really elevates the experience. There was a warm towel provided before we departed. There was a storage cupboard to the left. This contained a water bottle and noise cancelling headphones. As we prepare for our departure, the safety video screens, it's good to see that the Abu Dhabi based airline features some of the stunning landmarks and architecture that the city boasts. We were presented with the dinner menu just before departure. It was a very warm welcome. For this nighttime departure, there was still a three course menu, and you could also choose from a number of snacks that were available throughout the flight. For starter, I went for the Arabic Meze, a selection of hot and cold Arabic appetizers. For main, I went for the Chicken Supreme, potato ganache, asparagus, spinach, truffle, and for dessert, the vanilla panna cotta. Just after takeoff, I was served some warm nuts and a mocktail. Considering that Etihad brought this A380 out from retirement, the seat was endlessly adjustable and very comfortable. To your left, 
this small touchscreen panel allowed you to adjust your seat. For me, the seat was very ergonomic. You were able to reach all the seat controls without overstretching. Scrolling through the entertainments, I was able to watch live TV. The sports channel was one of my favourites. There was really so much variety. You were supplied with some Etihad noise cancelling headphones, which work well. They were comfortable and I wore them throughout the flight. The dinner service started, I enjoyed a glass of this Sauvignon Blanc. This night flight, the ambience of the cabin was really relaxing. My Arabic meze was promptly served. It was well presented. Etihad really surprised me. Their soft product was just excellent. To start, the Arabic meze was really light and refreshing. For Maine, the chicken was juicy and the ganache was not too chewy. Whilst I waited for my desserts, I caught up with the weather at our destination. As we finished our dinner, we went to explore the aircraft a little more. This was the onboard bar, a real nice space and very comfortable. You can serve your own drinks here. It was getting late and we made our way back to the seat. It's almost time to get some rest. The toilets were clean throughout the flight and there are a number of amenities that you could use. Back in my seat now, and it's getting late, so I'm going to try and get some rest. Once in bed mode, the shoulder space, for me, felt very roomy. Again, the soft product that Etihad provides just made the experience that bit more comfortable. I was lucky enough to get a good three hours sleep and I woke up about two hours before landing. I turned on the aircraft camera and woke up to this really nice sunrise. Just scrolling through the IFE, if you don't want to watch live TV, then there were a solid number of movies, TV shows and entertainment that you could choose from. Again, for an aircraft that was once retired, the TV worked very well and there was no significant lag when you were scrolling through content. I was still very full from the dinner service, so I didn't opt to have breakfast, but I started my day with this coffee. Not far now from landing in Abu Dhabi, and I packed everything away. Unfortunately, no window seat today, 
but I watched our approach using the onboard camera. It's my first time landing into this newly opened Abu Dhabi airport. I do think this new facility will be another reason why I want to fly Etihad. Actually, it's disappointing to be leaving this Airbus A380. The aircraft and Etihad's experience just adds a whole new level of comfort. We actually have a connecting flight to catch. We make our way through the airport. We didn't get time to experience the lounge during our outbound flights, but I took some footage when we were heading back to London. The lounge in Abu Dhabi was an expansive space and we even had time to refresh and have a shower. As we return to our outbound flight, our final destination is Mali in the Maldives. For this segment of the trip, I finally had a window seat. This Etihad A321 is going to take us for the four hour trip south down to the Maldives. Very thankful for this window seat because the views were spectacular. Thanks all so much for watching, and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. 